Hi everyone, um, I wanted to speak about um, spearmint tea and its effect on hirsutism. And um, for those of you who are familiar with hirsutism, and I'm sorry, and, and some of you who actually who are not are not familiar, but not familiar with hirsutism, what that is is it's actually extra hair growth in areas that you don't want hair in, uh, and that's due to the high levels of androgens um, that PCOS women generate. Um, so spearmint tea, there was a study done, and it's um, and it, not a perfect study. It was one study, and I'm sure there's going to have they're going to probably have consecutive studies, and ho I'm hoping it's long longitudinal. Uh, this particular study was short term. I think it was like five days, but still there was a difference in terms of the um, hair uh, growth and um, the texture of hair growth um, in the participants. So that's very promising. So spearmint tea, and I'm to show this box here is um, I picked it up. Actually, I ordered this online, but when I go into the city, I pick it up from the health food stores. Is um, it's specifically spearmint tea that you should be looking for because peppermint tea and mint tea they're completely different compounds, completely different leaves, um, so they're not having the same effect. Spearmint leaves and spearmint tea essentially has anti-androgen properties that assist with reducing the hair. Now I'm in the middle of this. I just I was drinking it sporadically. I wasn't really taking it seriously and then I started drinking it um, quite seriously for about a month and a half now. So I have a little big mug here and um, I'm not really big into these types of basic teas or herbal teas. I'm you know, from my background to like the chai thing. Um, so I was really not, let's say, drinking it as much. And then finally I decided, okay, uh, I should take it more seriously. And quite frankly, it tastes great. It's just my own preference. I just like the whole um, traditional teas that I usually drink. But um, now I've gotten used to it. And if you already are used to drinking um, herbal teas, it's really actually quite yummy. So the way uh, for uh, the most important part is you have to drink at least two cups um, a day to notice a change. So you know two two tea bags essentially. And uh, uh, but I actually one time thought, what if I put two bags two tea bags into one cup for that one day, uh, like a one drink? Uh, would it have the same effect? And I really don't know. So the study did not cover that. So I generally do drink just separately two cups a day. So that's up to you to decide. Now in terms of results, I have personally found that I'm not getting as many hairs. Um, uh, maybe it slowed down the process. I don't think, like I'm not sure if it will kill, you know, kill follicles, I just don't know. All I know is that um, I've seen a difference and I'm gonna continue drinking this um, and hopefully um, be able to report back that there's no hair left. <laughs> but um, uh, it so far is doing um, quite well for me. So heads up, you know, as opposed to that coffee um, in the mid-afternoon, take a tea bag to work and just dip it in and have that and then have one in the evening. I find it works great for digestion. I uh, have it after, you know, a meal and it's completely fine. So it has other effect, um, benefits as well. I think it's great for skin. Different things you can check online. And also for the study, if you put in spearmint tea and PCOS, you'll get a ton of, a ton of information. So that's just a heads up. Hope all of you are doing well, and I hope um, you're you know maintaining whatever uh, point you're at in your uh, recovery and maintenance and control of this um, syndrome. So um, all the best. All right. So keep me posted with your comments um, and feedback. Always looking forward to that. And uh, um, talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.